not a bad view here at Water Rock Knob. We're at the parking lot for the visitor center. We're about to take off heading toward the Smokies. This will be an overnight hike of about 21 miles ending at Mingus Mill just past the Oakland Lefty Visitor Center. Hike along with us here today in the western part of the MST, segment one. This marks the beginning of segment one here on the MST, or the end, depending on which direction you're going. We will come back for this, but we're gonna to go to the summit. We're gonna take the side trail to the summit. Steps and views as we head up to the summit of Water Rock Knob. We're getting close to the summit of Water Rock Knob. And uh, yeah, the views are incredible so far. And I just know we'll be greeted even better views up here at the top in a moment. It's incredible views. We have made it to the summit of Water Rock Knob. This was well worth the extra half mile total out and back that we'll be taking today. There's a view, view of the parking lot. And over here you can kind of see the parkway down below. <laughs> so the way we're doing this today is Michelle, is parked at Mingus Mill. I'm parked up here at Water Rock Knob and it's about a 21 mile trail hike. A lot of it on the road on the parkway the second half tomorrow, but we're doing this overnight. Um, starting here at Water Rock Knob, probably the only side trail we'll take. And then we're gonna end up down at Mingus Mill and we're gonna stay the night at Mile High Campground, at the campsites there. So, yeah, it's been two years and a month since I've hiked a new section of mountains on the MST. And there's only one hike left after this little trip. And that's Mingus Mill to Clemens Dome or vice versa. And then the mountains will be finished. That's the way we're gonna hike all the way down the mountain. Looking across the way here at Clemens Dome, down to Fontana Dam. Look at those layers, holy crap. Beautiful. Okay, segment one, finally. Feels good and it's perfect because here we are in August and the temps are just perfect for this. It's in the uh, mid to upper 60s and there's the potential of being in the 40s tonight at our campground, which would be fantastic. I take that. But uh, yeah, the mount this is the mountains to sea trail for me and I know there's a lot of two and there's a lot of sea, but there's a reason I picked to do the mountains. I love it. I love this trail. I love the solitude. That's like therapy, but worse. Right now? Six. Is it? Six thousand.
These girls crack me up back here. They're talking about a backpacking trip on this backpacking trip. I do the same thing. We, we plan, we get out here and we're like, what's next? What are y'all gonna do? We're doing 15 a day. Fifth, 15 a day, Thanksgiving. Foothills Trail in five days. Waterfall down the way here. Very smooth section of trail. Easy to hike on, easy to get good splits on. People like Howard's, what made this trail possible? Their hard work. Let's check it out here. Try not to slip and fall and do really bad with wet, with wet wood. Yeah. Michelle is filtering her water here. Here we are, day one of two. We're still smiling. <laughs> We're still smiling. Check us tomorrow at about this time. I don't know what time it is, but it's, we'll be done by this time tomorrow, probably. We have arrived at the SoCo Gap Overlook. This is the first time that we have crossed the Blue Ridge Parkway today, but not the last. Gangster. Just an update here. We're slightly over four miles in for the day. Actually, we're five miles in for the day. Uh, leaving us about three to go. Having a really good time out here. The weather is great for August. A little bit of a breeze. And we've been in the woods, only on the parkway just across it at Soco Gap Overlook. And of course, crossing 19. So we're going up, we should gain probably 800 to 1,000 feet in elevation over the next three miles. Not a big task. It's kind of nice to switch muscle groups after going down for a few miles. I hate graffiti. Hate, hate it. Hate trash. And I hate graffiti. We are approaching Mile High Campsite here. Uh, campground. Let's get our campsite number 27. We're staying at campsite 27. I'm doing the duplex tonight. Keena and Michelle are both doing hammock camping tonight. Someone said that there was a bear out here around that area the other uh, night, I think last night actually. So we'll just be on alert. They're not gonna bother us. They're just gonna be out here looking for food. And we'll have ours in a canister put away somewhere. It's dinner time. We're stuck with this view for us. <laughs> the mountains to sea trail. Mile high campground. Check it out. It's really cool. Everybody up here is really cool too. We have some great conversation back there. Yeah, so tomorrow morning we're going to come back out here. We're going to hike another 12 miles and then we're going to go home and talk about coming back out here for a month. Then we're going to kill it in the Smokies. 
Here is Tina's setup for the night. 6.38 a.m. We're packed and we're about to hit the, I would say the trail, but we're about to hit the road today. Good morning. Can't say enough good things about this campground. It's been a great experience. Met some really nice people last night and we're traveling along now. Here we are, it's Saturday morning. We are on the parkway now. We'll be walking the parkway for the next several miles. Don't know how much I'll record. I may record some, some of, or maybe one of the uh, detours around a tunnel. Can't walk through tunnels on the parkway, not that I would want to. Here we are taking a break at the Big Witch <laughs> Overlook. What do you have in there, Kena? Nut butter bar. It's good. Chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah. Not just chocolate or peanut butter. Michelle, you're gonna have you a snack? Dark chocolate, coffee, almond butter. Nice. Yeah, I and, and I'm going to have um, already had some gummy lifesavers. So when you pack up early in the morning and you're leaving camp, always make sure to leave with water. We all forgot to get um, a resupply of water and I'm not so sure. I'm not sure where the camera is. Sorry for looking all over the place. I'm not so sure where we're going to be able to get water. We have filters, but we're on the parkway for the next eight, nine miles, something like that. But then we get to Oakland Lefty, they have like everything. So we could just stock up on whatever. We are going into the woods, about a half mile of trail to avoid the tunnel down here. I'm not gonna lie, it feels really good to be back in the woods for a moment. Only gonna be about 0.8 on this parkway trip down, you know, toward Cherokee. A little bit less than a mile total over off trail once we hit the parkway. But then we'll be on the Oak and Lefty River Trail and by the way, the water, I mentioned that earlier, that was about three and a half, almost four, no, it's but four, four miles ago. And I've not had any water in four miles, which isn't typical for me, but I feel fine. You know, typically I would drink more than I am right now. Learned a lesson, slow down when you're packing up to hit the trail in the morning and get your water, especially when there's no water sources. And there are no water sources for Mile High Campground to Oak and Lefty. So keep that in mind. We did cross over the headwaters of Mingo Creek, which feeds into beautiful Mingo Falls. If you haven't seen that, check it out, Mingo Falls. But yeah, there was just a trickle and it was not enough to do any, I mean, it was just almost like a puddle. Last tunnel on our section hike of the mountains of Sea Trail. Unless there's some tunnels out toward Raleigh that I'm unaware of. Guessing not. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Ball Hoot Scar Overlook. Scar? Not that song. Scars. Who sings that? Well, scars. This is the Okona Lefty River Overlook, and this is the last overlook on the Blue Ridge Parkway going south. 
we have completed the Blue Ridge Parkway. Mile number 469 of the Blue Ridge Parkway. This is a 469 mile road and the halfway point is Mahogany Rock, close to where we live, where the old tramway was. The Okona Lefty River. Just past the parking lot, you'll take this trail here, side trail to the Oakland Lefty Trail. This is one massive, or I don't know, four massive trees, however you would say that. For now, more foot traffic and more road traffic than what we'll experience our next time out when we go and connect Mingus Mill and Clemens Dome. A lot of people fishing, hiking very touristy area because it's close to the visitor center, very close to the town of Cherokee. So elk went extinct in the Smokies many, many years ago. And there were a lot of efforts to uh, repopulate the area with elk. And these elk are all descendants of the Elk and Rocky Mountain National Park. So that was a partnership between the two national parks. And uh, if you get a chance, read Bear in the Backseat. It's an awesome book um, written by a former ranger here in the Smoky Mountains. A lot of interesting things that he encountered in his career. I can't recommend the book enough. And there's even a, a Bear in the Backseat too. I've read both of them and, and love them. And can't recommend them enough if you love uh, places like the Smokies probably hard to see on video but there's a lot of elk bedded down at the edge of this field here one last look at the Okona Lefty River if I'm mispronouncing that please uh, let me know doing the best I can I think it's Okona Okona Lefty this is quite a deciduous forest here along the Okona Lefty trail This is the backyard view of the Okona Lefty, Okona Lefty Visitor Center. Michelle just had a suggestion. I don't know if anybody has any connections out here in the Smokies, but so we just got back from the Okona Lefty Visitor Center and she's suggesting that they make like an Okona Lefty hot dog stand, offering all the toppings here in the edge of the Smokies. That said, they have soda. I was able to refill my water and we have half a mile or less to go to end the day and to head to a restaurant to eat at Farm Burger in Asheville and maybe Duncan. Are you still doing Duncan? You got a Diet Coke? Okay, yeah, we're gonna do that. The hike was to the Mingus Mill parking lot. We'll check out the actual mill on the next hike. We're done, we're out. This has been Kiefer Hikes. Um, Michelle and Kina, or Throttle and Freebird. And I guess I could let you know, this is Captain here, my trail name. Had a great hike and we can't wait to do it again. Hopefully next month we'll be back out. I'll be sharing it with you if you choose to watch. Have a great day and peace out.